Cheers founder and CEO Jensen Huang's GTC keynote speech was premiered yesterday and as always was jam-packed with exciting new technology advances and announcements. Before we heard from the man himself, we were treated to a virtual tour around Jensen's AI-generated kitchen, showing off stunning ray trace photorealistic lighting on all the accessories, including his impressive spatula collection. Then Jensen welcomed us as he transported himself from the familiar kitchen island into the foyer of the Silicon Valley NVIDIA headquarters, where he teed off with a dramatic and emotive episode of I Am AI. I am AI, brought to life by NVIDIA, deep learning, and brilliant minds everywhere. He then recapped on the full NVIDIA stack and where it sits today, emphasizing that at the heart of all these technologies is CUDA, having been downloaded 30 million times over the last 15 years, 7 million of which was last year alone. The adoption of accelerated computing is accelerating. Our expertise in full stack acceleration and data center scale architectures lets us help researchers and developers solve problems at the largest scales. Our approach to computing is highly energy efficient and the versatility of our architecture let us contribute to fields ranging from AI to quantum physics, to digital biology, to climate science. The keynote speech then took us through data center scale computing, Millionex science, Omniverse AI, avatars, robotics, and self-driving cars. One of the first announcements was NVIDIA Reopt, an accelerated solver for vehicle routes, warehouse picking, and fleet mix optimization. Route planning is an extremely hard logistics problem. At industrial scale, even small routing optimizations can save billions of dollars. This example uses a virtual warehouse in NVIDIA Omniverse to show the impact of optimized routing in an automated order picking scenario. An optimized plan results in orders picked in half the time and half the distance traveled. Then moving on to quantum computing, the NVIDIA QQuantum DGX was revealed and major advancements were shown in NVIDIA research in quantum algorithm simulation. As Jensen stated that Python is the programming language of scientists and is now used by 20 million, he announced NVIDIA Q Numeric for accelerated computing at scale. Then we were introduced to Toy Me, a conversational AI avatar of Jensen with speech understanding and natural language processing on the largest model ever trained. Toy Me was made with some amazing technologies that have become possible only recently and barely so. I asked a few friends to ask this cute little guy some tough questions. Let's take a look. Hi. Hello. Hello, Toy Jensen. Hi, please ask me anything. What are the greatest threats of climate change? The greatest threats of climate change are the effects on human health, food security, water supplies, and the environment. How do astronomers look for exoplanets? Most exoplanets are found via the transit method. That was the case for the TRAPPIST-1 planets. Moving on to the data center and starting with networking, Jensen then announces NVIDIA's Quantum 2, boasting that it's the most advanced end-to-end -end networking platform ever built. Quantum 2 is a 400 gigabits per second InfiniBand platform and consists of the Quantum 2 switch, the ConnectX7 NIC, the Bluefield 3 DPU, and a whole bunch of software for the new architecture. You can find out more about NVIDIA's Quantum 2 around the half an hour mark in the full keynote. Then it was on to data center processing and NVIDIA's Bluefield DPU is an infrastructure computing platform that offloads the burden of processing the networking, storage and security software from the CPU, which for multi-billion dollar data centers can be a giant cost saving. Bluefield isn't new, but this time Jensen announced Bluefield Doco 1.2, a suite of new cybersecurity capabilities that make Bluefield the ideal platform for the industry to build their security systems on. The software revolution of deep learning is coming to science. This is extremely exciting and will make a big impact. 
After talking us through some major advances in drug discovery using machine learning and climate science, we hear about how data may soon stream into a digital twin of Earth running in Omniverse to help predict climate. He then went on to explain more about Omniverse and how it can connect design worlds. Omniverse is futuristic. Omniverse can connect design worlds. Things created in the Adobe world can be connected to those in the Autodesk world through Omniverse, enabling designers to collaborate in a shared space. Changes by a designer in one world are updated for all connected designers, essentially like a cloud shared document for 3D design. We are releasing a big update to Omniverse today with some exciting new features. Showroom, an Omniverse app for demos and samples that showcases core Omniverse technology, graphics, physics, materials, and AI. Farm, a systems layer that orchestrates the processing of batch jobs across multiple systems, workstations, servers, bare metal, or virtualized. Farm can be used for batch rendering, synthetic data generation for AI, or distributed computing. Omniverse AR streams graphics to phones or AR glasses. Omniverse VR is the world's first full-frame interactive ray-traced VR. And we've actually put together a couple of videos that explain NVIDIA Omniverse in more detail and how it can be utilized and transform how architecture, engineering, and construction design teams collaborate, as well as some specific use cases for the media and entertainment industries. You can, of course, watch these videos over on our YouTube channels now and contact our designated teams to discuss how SCAN can help you and your business start your journey into NVIDIA Omniverse. Omniverse is designed to be data center scale and hopefully someday planetary scale. After seeing some impressive digital twinning projects being worked on by the likes of Bentley, Siemens, Ericsson and BMW, the keynote took a turn towards large scale training frameworks as Nemo Megatron was announced, along with updates to Nvidia Triton, the world's first distributed inferencing engine. And don't forget that there's plenty of talks and presentations throughout the GTC conference from leading companies who are using these AI technologies. On to Edge AI Automation now and a look at the NVIDIA Unified Computing Framework and Metropolis AI Edge. Metropolis is our video processing and analytics platform. From streaming video, it can detect, track, count, infer 3D pose, and even reconstruct full 3D scenes in the future. We support cameras today, but it's an easy extension with UCF to support LiDAR, depth sensors, imaging radars, ultrasonics, and infrared. Metropolis is full stack and open, like all of our platforms. We then move into the final section of the keynotes. The NVIDIA CEO talks us through launchpad announcements, virtual robot platform Maxine, and NVIDIA Reva Neural Speech AI. Today, we're announcing the public release of NVIDIA Reva Neural Speech AI. This is the input output of Maxine. We've dedicated significant R&D and built DGX Superpods to make Riva possible. Riva speaks English, but recognizes seven languages. English, Spanish, German, French, Japanese, Mandarin, and Russian. Riva will speak more languages in the future. Riva can close caption, translate, summarize, answer questions, and understand intent. Riva's accuracy is world-class and the response time is unrivaled. And with only 30 minutes of training, Riva can be tuned to a specific voice. In medical imaging, NVIDIA Clara has had some significant advancements. And of course, we saw the latest in NVIDIA Robotics. DGX, RTX, EGX, and AGX systems and their appropriate software stacks make up the end-to-end -end machine learning loop. Isaac is a full stack and open platform. Isaac now supports the ROS ecosystem, the large open source robotics community. Isaac Sim is the most realistic robotics simulator ever created. It's built on Omniverse. Sensors are modeled, physics is simulated, environments are photorealistic, robots in simulation are running their actual stack. As always, the keynote was rounded up by updates to the world of autonomous driving. By 2024, the vast majority of new EVs will have substantial AV capability. We are developing an end-to-end -end flow for building autonomous vehicles. 
as well as a full stack in-car AV system and a global cloud map. NVIDIA Drive is full stack and an open AV platform. We collect petabytes of road data from around the world and have some 3,000 trained labelers creating training data. Still, synthetic data generation is a cornerstone of our data strategy. Here you see a scene through the simulated surround cameras with data labeled automatically. And on the right, some of the AI models that were trained with the data. Drive Sim Replicator is a synthetic data generator for autonomous vehicles and is built on Omniverse. I have one more announcement. We will build a digital twin to simulate and predict climate change. The last supercomputer we built was called Cambridge One or C1. This new supercomputer will be E2, Earth 2, the digital twin of Earth. Running modulus created AI physics at million X speeds in Omniverse. All the technologies we've invented up to this moment are needed to make Earth 2 possible. I can't imagine a greater and more important use. See you next time. So there's an overview of Jensen Huang's GTC 2021 keynote speech. You can, of course, watch the full session at nvidia.com forward slash GTC. There are lots of fascinating workshops and sessions included with your free GTC pass. So you can find out even more about these key topics and hear from those who are working at the cutting edge with case studies and useful information. If you haven't yet registered, then you still can on the GTC homepage. And to help make the task of wading through the hundreds of talks available and choosing which ones to watch live a little easier, we have our daily top picks, which you can catch over on our Scan Business YouTube channel, which we'll then also share on our LinkedIn. So make sure that you're subscribed and connected so you don't miss out.